What's going on everybody? Matthew Monas here and you guys have been asking me, you've been saying, Matt, please stop with all the expensive stuff, review something budget. So I'm bringing you here to Best Buy today. I've teamed up with them. I'm gonna show you a 4K UHD TV with Fire TV integration. That means you can control all your devices with your TV using Alexa. Let's go check it out. Excellent. Garbage. Thank All you, right. Yosef. I appreciate the help, man. No problem, yeah. man. No problem. Thanks. Good day. That's Yosef, blue shirt expert here at Best Buy. Or if you can't find a blue shirt expert, you always got the Geek Squad. Now, this is the TV, the 4K Toshiba TV. We're taking this home. We're going to set it up, and I'm going to go through all the features you get with this bad boy. Let's go. So we're back at the studio, TV's all set up, and I'm gonna give you guys the basic rundown. First and foremost, this is a very basic TV, but it comes with all the ports you need to hook up all of your stuff. If you have a PlayStation, you can do that. If you have an Xbox, you can do that. There's three HDMI ports on the back. Now maybe you have an older, someone older in the house, and they have a VCR. What do you do? Well, don't worry because there's composite cables in the back and you can hook that up as well. Now, why do you buy a Fire TV over a traditional smart TV or even a regular TV? The biggest reason is Alexa integration. It's a good way to get everything you need in one device. If you were to do this before, you'd have to go out, buy an Amazon Fire Stick, and then stick it in the back. This way, everything is built in, giving you a nice, cohesive unit. So the things you can do with it is fairly simple. So let's say you're at home and you wanna check the weather. You can use the remote control, you press the little voice button like this, and you say, check the weather in Toronto. Right now in Toronto, Canada, it's seven degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Now obviously this is a very basic task, but you can basically do everything you can do on a regular Alexa through the TV. So if you wanna lock the door, you have that opportunity. If you wanna change the lights, you can do that as well. And you can even voice drop on other Alexa devices using the TV, but you can't do it to the TV because, well, there's no microphone installed on it. Now, the color quality is 4K and you are getting HDR, but you're not getting Dolby Vision, you're just getting HDR10. So you do have some of that capability and stuff like Amazon Prime Video and Netflix both support HDR10. So if you wanna watch 4K content at its best point, you can do that with this TV. So when you first turn the TV on, you're basically presented with a card-based system. And when you see this, you get all of your favorite applications and TV stations that you're used to. So Amazon Prime Video, Netflix. If you have a cable package and you hook up the cable to behind the TV, it's basically gonna grab all of those channels and use the Fire TV interface to display them. So basically I could use Alexa to jump around wherever I want to. So for example, Netflix and automatically it'll take me to the Netflix application or at least to the Netflix apps itself and then I can go ahead and choose the program I wanna watch. You also have things like Amazon Prime Music integration so you can listen to music on this, you can browse the web using the Silk browser and of course you still have access to the basic apps like YouTube and Amazon Music. The last thing I wanna mention before wrapping this up is the controller. This, this is basically dependent on where you live. Here in Canada, you get the Prime Video button, Netflix button, CTV, and Crave. But if you're in the United States, you might have different variations of this. Netflix and Prime Video are for sure there, but you might have, let's say, HBO Go or Hulu instead. So that pretty much wraps up my initial overview of the 4K Toshiba Fire TV. I think this is a great budget device that offers some pretty good quality for someone who doesn't wanna spend a ton of money on a 4K TV. The best part about it is you do get that Fire TV integration, so getting around is super easy, and all of your applications are basically in a centralized space. So that pretty much wraps up this overview of the Fire TV. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you, Best Buy, for having me out to your store. Hit me up on Discord if you have any questions. Like the video if you liked it. Follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes, and I'll see you in the next video.